Outside Nigeria now and in South Africa, President Cyril Ramaphosa over the weekend led and officiated a homecoming ceremony in Pretoria to honor the remains of liberation struggle fighters who returned to their families for a final farewell on home soil. These 42 South African freedom fighters died in Zambia and Zimbabwe during the apartheid era. The ceremony was attended by Zambian High Commissioner to South Africa, Mazuba Munze, and Zimbabwe Ambassador to South Africa, David Hamad Zipzibi. Among with, uh, along with uh, government officials, ordinary South Africans, families, and friends. Now, the repatriation of the freedom fighters remain from, uh, remains from Zambia and Zimbabwe form part of the Resistance and Re Liberation Heritage Route project aimed at commemorating, celebrating, educating, promoting, preserving, and conserving uh, a durable testament of South Africa's road to freedom. New Central's Bongani Sisiva has more. In a moving culmination of decades of longing, today marks a historic moment for South Africa. These are the remains of esteemed heroes who fought the struggles far from home. They have returned to their motherland after years of exile in Zimbabwe and Zambia. These brave individuals dedicated their lives to the fight for the freedom, courageously standing for what they believed in. Today, they are not just mere legends, but a home returned to rest among their people, their families, and their ancestors. We are returning them to the land of their birth. We restore them to their families and to their people. And we're pleased that their families are here because through this, we are also paying tribute to their families. Families who went through a lot of anguish and pain and depression and sadness over the years. And we pay tribute to you all for having gone through all that and in fact you sacrificed immensely. Now these brave warriors are set free from the shackles of displacement to where they will forever rest embraced by the rich soil of South Africa. So this moment is a reflection of our national values, respect for human dignity, but more important, the recognition of the sacrifice and on the other side, the preservation of our heritage. Zambia and Zimbabwe also acknowledged the relationship they have with South Africa. Today's ceremony therefore reminds us of our two countries and people's friendship solidarity and shared sacrifices in the fight against apartheid and colonial oppression and for independence and liberty. It also reminds us that our destinies are intertwined. We are also extremely humbled to have collaborated with our brothers and sisters from South Africa in undertaking the repatriation and restitution process. Home at last, and the memory will linger forever. South Africa thanked all the countries that took care of these heroes who fought for the freedom the country enjoys today. It will be remiss of us as the ANC today, not to mention the indelible role played by the countries where these comrades' mortal remains were repatriated from. Zambia and Zimbabwe. Zambia, led by President Kenneth Kaunda, gave home to the ANC and other liberation movements, providing for ANC headquarters, training camps, and the education of our children and young people. It did so while still busy rebuilding their own country. The neighboring countries, which were then called frontline states, uh, sacrificed on our behalf and at times bearing the brunt of attacks from the apartheid regime during the cross-border raid. Today, as families, friends, and fellow South Africans gather, they are not just mourning the loss of these brave fighters, they are celebrating their lives, their dedication, and their spirit. At the Freedom Park Heritage Site in Pretoria for New Central, Wangani, Sisiba.